Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today we're going to be looking at an unboxing of the Euro Cult of Christopher Lee collection from Severin Films. Um, very excited when this was announced. I'm a huge Christopher Lee fan, yet I have not seen any of these films. As you can see, it's a nine disc and book set, eight Blu rays, one CD. These are the six films on there Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, Crypt of the Vampire, The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. Challenge the Devil, Castle of the Living Dead, and a TV series, an anthology horror series, The Theater Macabre. From Dracula to Jedi Master, Bond villain to Metal God, Christopher Lee's 70-year career was rich, varied, and often pretty weird. That's very exciting. Cannot wait to dig into this. He remains one of the most beloved horror fantasy icons in U.S., UK pop culture history, but Christopher Lee delivered several of the most compelling, acclaimed, and bizarre performances of his career in 1960s Europe. Euro cult of Christopher Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee brings five of these Lee classics: the 1964 Gothic shocker Crypt of the Vampire, the 1964 cult hit Castle of the Living Dead, co-starring an unknown Donald Sutherland. 1962 celebrated Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, 1967's lurid favorite, The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism, and the rarely seen series Theater Macabre, hosted by Lee, all remastered from negative materials with over 10 hours of trailers, rare promos, audio commentaries, and vintage interviews, plus the Castle of the Living Dead soundtrack, and an all-new 100-page booklet by lead biographer Jonathan Rigby. Very cool. With the packaging on this. Very similar to their box set of um, Baker Lindsay. A bit bigger than that, though. Got the slip top that comes off. Exposing six black Blu-ray cases. Here's the 100-page booklet by Jonathan Rigby. Illustrated lots of writing on the materials. This is jam-packed and rather gorgeous. And first up, we've got Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, directed by Hammer favorite Terrence Fisher. Shortly after their cult, their hit collaboration on The Hound of the Baskervilles, Christopher Lee and director Terrence Fisher returned to Hom Homesiana for Lee's sole feature film portrayal of the world's greatest detective shot in Berlin. With Hammer regular Thurley Walters as Dr. Watson, Lee considered it to be one of the best things I've ever done because I try to play Holmes as he was written, as a very intolerant, argumentative, difficult man. Santa Berger, co-star in this 1962 West German French-Italian co-production produced by Arthur Bronner and based on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Valley of Fear, now scanned in 2K from the German negative. Extras on this include a commentary with film writers Kim Newman and Barry Forshaw. Very cool. Up next, Christopher Lee in Challenge of the Devil from 1963. Lee's journey into perversion. His work in Italy between 1961 and 1964 evokes worlds which function through the paradigms of sadism, masochism, fetishism, torture, and the pleasure both characters and viewer take in violence. Lee's ultra-rare Faustian shocker, now remastered from the original negative. Extras on this include Dance with the Devil interview with Roberto Curley, author of Mavericks of Italian Cinema and the Importance of Being Georgian. Interview with Giorgio Artisan over two decades, plus a trailer. Includes a bonus disc, Relics from the Crypt. 
includes a Swiss documentary from 1964. The Man Behind the Mask, Christopher Lee Remembers Boris Karloff. 1967 Belgian TV interview with Céline Sasson. A 1975 interview with Christopher Lee. An audio interview with Christopher Lee accompanied by stills from Del Vale Archive and video introduction by David DeVale. Making the Crypt of the Vampire feature it with screenwriter Ernesto Gostaldi, assistant director Tony Valeri, and film historian Fabio Melidi. Christopher Lee and Gary Curtis music videos with optional Gary Curtis audio commentary. Outtakes from To the Devil, A Daughter, Theater of Death. And then a University College Dublin 2011 Q&A with Sir Christopher Lee. So it looks like that bonus disc is packed with goodies. Castle of the Living Dead, 1964. Required viewing for fans of Christopher Lee and Italian Horror. Horror. It's fascinating backstory and the debut of un, the then unknown Donald Sutherland have combined to keep its cult status going for nearly 50 years. The first ever authorized release, authorized release of the original uncut version, scanned in 4K with new special features. Those extras include an audio commentary with Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson and film writer, writer Troy Haworth. Audio commentary by film writer Kat Ellinger. From Castle to the Academy, career interview with Ma master producer Paul Malaski. The Castle of the Mystery Man, Roberto Curti, author of Mavericks of Italian Cinema, and writer-director Warren Kiefer. Plus a bonus CD of the soundtrack. Twenty tracks all told. Runs about forty-seven minutes. Music by Angelo F. Lavaginino. Crypt of the Vampire. 1964. Truly haunting, brimming with atmosphere, and shot in authentic gothic ruins. It's a must for anyone who enjoys vintage horror starring Christopher Lee. The first official U.S. release... On Blu-ray, now scanned from a fine grain 35 Master. Only extra on this one is a trailer. Again, I haven't seen any of these, so I can't tell you much about the films themselves, but I am looking forward to digging in. The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. 1967. A nightmarish fairy tale brought to life. One of the most atmospheric old world horror movies ever made. The definitive version of the Euro horror classic now scanned from the original negative. Christopher Lee stars as Count Regula, an insane nobleman found guilty of murdering a dozen virgins and drawn and quartered for his crimes. But when a lawyer, former Tarzan Lee Barker, is summoned to the Count's castle 35 years later he will unlock a wildly entertaining odyssey of torture dismemberment and creepy bavarian locations that is equal parts mario bava and hieronymus bosch karen dior and dieter epler co-star in this 1967 underrated gem also known as castle of the walking dead blood of the virgins and blood demon Directed by creamy veteran Harl Rainey and loosely based on Pose the Pit and the Pendulum, now scanned in 4K from the original German negative with all new special features. A good amount of extras on this one, beginning with an audio commentary from Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson and film writer Troy Haworth. Audio interview with actress Karen Dior in German with English subtitle. Location featurettes. There's two eight millimeter digest versions of the film both under the title Die Schlaschlingglub Die Bor des Ravens. Yeah, I'm sure I slaughtered those. There's also a theatrical and teaser trailers, behind the scenes still gallery, poster gallery, and restoration slideshow. Very cool. 
cool. And the last disc is a two disc set. This is Christopher Lee Presents Theater Macabre from 1971 and 72. No one in the history of film has ever captured the irresistible erotic lure of corruption and decadence the way Christopher Lee did. The Polish anthology series hosted by Lee featuring 24 remastered episodes on two discs. Christopher Lee hosted this anthology television series originally produced by Film Polski. In the tradition of Alfred Hitchcock's Presents and Boris Karloff, Lee delivers the intro and outro for each half-hour episode at his imposing and often cheeky best, while the tales themselves, adapted from stories by Poe, Dostoevsky, Ambrose Pierce, Robert Louis Stevenson, and Oscar Wilde, are written and directed by filmmakers that include Andrzej Zalowski and Academy Award winner Andrzej Zwaja, dubbed in to English and featuring additional dialogue, new theme music, has remained largely unseen since its brief airing on American TV in 1971. These 24 surviving episodes have now been scanned in 2K from the original negative. The only extra on here is promos with Christopher Lee. Spread out over two discs, 24 episodes, each one running about a half hour. So there you have it, folks. That is the nine dvd one cd set the euro crypt of christopher lee from severin films out now i'll be honest i don't normally order a lot of box sets on pre-order i wait to see what they're all about when they come out but this was too good to pass up i love christopher lee and having six things i've never seen him in was a no-brainer so if you like Christopher Lee, if you love Eurocult, this looks like a no-brainer. Can't wait to check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.